Red wine is great. Red wine stains on your teeth are not. Every time I go to the dentist, he asks me if I drink red wine or coffee, and I say, yes, I drink a lot of both. Sometimes I'll get like the red wine kind of on the inside of my lip, and then I have like this big like purple crust that I don't even know about, and it's like the grossest thing ever, and no one wants to talk to me. If your lips are chapped, it'll get in the cracks, and you have to end up looking like a Heath Ledger as the Joker. Just, I've, I've kind of stayed away from, uh, from drinking red wine in recent years. And I guess you use it like a piece of uh, paper towel inside your mouth. This is working, but also making me more self-conscious about how apparently disgusting my wine teeth are. I feel like my teeth have been dewinified. This is a double effort of the water, keeping your teeth clean and keeping you sober. I feel like you have to keep it level to like get the most out of this experience. Drinking wine out of a straw at a party would be a little bit awkward at first, but it would also be a nice little conversation starter. It does feel a little bit like I just turned into my five-year-old self that is suddenly legal. And they still look uh, pretty shiny and wineless. Thank you, straw. So cheese coats your teeth with calcium, which is apparently the like scientific reason. Take a sip. I feel like it's kind of like um, the food world's toothbrush, right? I'm very glad that the prevention method is not like wine and toothpaste because that would be disgusting. So I just brushed my teeth. Apparently wine doesn't actually stick to your tooth, it sticks to the plaque that's on your teeth. It seems like probably the easiest fix, although I definitely would not recommend brushing your teeth literally three minutes before you're about to down a glass of wine. Don't ever do that.